Welcome to the Buccaneers Observer. This is Ralph Phillips. We ready to watch them all toy two today. Got to see that offense. The perfect game by Baker Mayfield. Did anybody have a, any clue that he had a perfect game when they <laughs> watched that game? I sure didn't. Had no idea. What's up, Scott? Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bacon ears. MK, what's going on, brother? How's everybody doing today? Y'all ready for a small 22? What's up, Dub? We got some Buccaneers news, or Buccaneers-related news. Buccaneers-adjacent news. How about that? Al, what's going on? B-Mock. B-Mock. Taylor Heineke is now the starting quarterback for the Falcons again. <laughs> we broke the Falcons. We broke the Falcons. Ugh. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. That's like the Jets. They just bounce it back and forth. That's that's a sign of bad leadership. Me and Molly were talking about that the other day. Uh, but the Jets, how you know they just keep going back and forth with their quarterbacks. Same thing's happening with the Falcons. Bad leadership. Indecisiveness. Rhetoric was trash, yes. Gulliver, what's going on, man? We've got the Lions have increased their... <laughs> Season tickets in 2024. I guess they figure they're going to be be contenders in 2024. Uh, Packers linebacker Devondre Campbell has voiced displeasure on so social media, saying he's not going to play through injuries anymore because he gets blamed for the team when they do bad. So I don't know what that's all about. <clears throat> we just whooped them. They upset over there. My shirt says, "Oh, you." Yeah, you can't see it. Let's see, it says, "I gotta get rid of all this stuff, man." Your booty is my treasure. Your booty is my treasure. I got way too much. I got way too much blocking, blocking things. I need to be over here more. Uh, oh well. You know, I was thinking about doing that while we're sitting here. See if I can. What about if I did like that? Oh, man, it's all out of. Think about doing that. I think it's pretty cool. That way you can see more of me in my glory. Plus for all you autistic or ADHD people or ADD. I don't know which one it is. I'm not off-centered. What's up, Molly? Molly's, Molly's watching the babies, the kids. They are. We got the one sick one. She's doing rough. I had to sleep with her last night in the den. Poor thing. Basking in the glow of that W. Yes, sir, Gulliver. It was a great game, man. I was very happy with it. What's up, uh, MH? That's right. Remember that when he was with the Redskins, man, Heineke scared us there for a little bit. Yeah, Ritter's that new flock of quarterbacks that I'm seeing. Uh, you can put love in that category, too. You know, these guys who, they're hybrid quarterbacks. They run and they they throw. They're not necessarily pocket passers. They're not making great decisions. and uh, But they, they're very confident in their throwing. They will, they will throw it in the triple-covered guys. <laughs> Ritter of is is of that ilk as well. Saints game will be good, yeah, yes. Uh, we still have no word on Trevor Lawrence. Coach there has said that uh, they're not gonna not gonna speculate on anything, so we won't know until Friday, basically. How about the, the uh, Eagles last night? What? I don't know what's going on over there, man. 
And then uh, they got called. Kelsey got called for moving the ball forward. And then everybody was pointing out they've been doing that all season long. How did we not pick that up? Not paying attention enough on the All-22. We're going too fast through it. The Colts have suspended Tony Brown and Isaiah McKenzie for the rest of the regular season for conduct detrimental to the team. I have no idea what that means. Both of them have played all season. They're secondary guys, uh, special teams guys, backups. Uh, Bucks wide receiver Rakeem Jarrett can come back from injured reserve now. It's been four weeks, so he's in that window. I think he practiced today. Yeah, Love has a bad habit of doing that. You know, he'll get he gets real spooked, Dub, where he'll if he feels pressure, he'll back up and he'll throw off his back foot. Really bad. I see that with a lot, a lot of these quarterbacks coming in. They just got bad fundamentals. It's a it's me and Molly call it the Mahomes effect. Hey, Kate, you missed Happy Monday, Victory Monday. It was funny. Everybody wasn't as happy as I thought. I was thrilled to death. That's not true. I was hungover. But inside, I was thrilled to death. But you know us Buck fans, we just can't be happy. Hey, what's up, Wayne? Things are good. Well, I say that, but I got I got a sick child, and we got another child that we're trying to keep away from the sick child. But the sick child's in the den downstairs, so she can watch TV. And the the baby is used to hanging out with her and all that, so we're t- having to keep her away from her. She ain't happy about that. Uh, we're just, we're just trying to keep everybody from getting sick. I don't think it's going to happen now. Yeah, that's crazy, Al, with the Matt Patricia. That didn't seem to help, did it? Bringing in, I didn't know that the Eagles' defense was having such a hard time. Apparently they is. What, are they on a three-game losing streak? Yeah, they'll be fine. But what I worry about is, you know, the head coach does that, and then he comes out and he says, you know, I mean, he brings some guy in who was like a consultant, and now all of a sudden he's defensive coordinator, let's leapfrog to everybody. And then he he came out and he said the reason why he did that is because the coaching performance wasn't good enough. That's a good way to start a rebellion on your squad. So it's going to be interesting to see how (laughs) if the uh, Eagles don't implode. Yeah, I don't think they're going to make it out. I don't think they're going to make it to the Super Bowl. I think it's going to be 49ers. You're in the championship game, MH? Our playoffs start this week. I got I got my my first round by though, so I'm happy about that. You think we're gonna keep more over Jarrett? That's interesting. Yeah, we probably will this week. I I hope we see more and more. I want to see more and more. Although I like that Raheem Jarrett too. I think we got two 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 studs on our team there, backing up Evans. We. Get, I've seen enough of Tompkins and Palmer. You know, just let's 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 move on. We'll see. We'll see what they can do next year. But this year, I've seen enough of them. Tom, what's going on, man? Hung over Monday. Yeah. I know, Kate. Right after that performance, you go, "Hey, we might." I think the team's getting better. You know. We started off with a bang, then we fell off a cliff, and we've been slowly struggling. We're pulling ourselves out. You know, and I didn't want to get excited about the Panthers game because that was really an ugly game. I mean, 16 punts, 8 punts, <laughs> that's, just, that's just bad football. And in this game, there was three total punts. That's the difference in the games. We had one punt in this game. We had eight punt against the Panthers. So with the Panthers game, I was like, yeah, we won it, but it wasn't pretty. And then the Falcons beat up offensive line. 
You know, they don't know what they're doing at quarterback, all that good stuff. So we won that game. I was like, well, you know, we're winning the games we need to win. We ain't doing it pretty. So the Packers game, I actually predicted we were going to lose. But it seemed like uh, we're getting better. We're getting better. So I'm excited about that. And if we continue this, yeah, I think we can win a playoff game. Maybe. <laughs> we got we to gotta get there first. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, Every Monday is Hangover Monday. It's not true. What's up, Rashad? Baked to perfection. I like that. Man, you know how many – we could be making all kinds of shirts and stuff. Eagles peaked too early. Yeah. Well, they had last year and then, yeah, at the beginning of this year, Molly's theory of thirds. Thanks, Tom. I appreciate that. Ooh, they're going to fire a defensive coordinator. Yeah, he might He might quit. Like mid-season here. Bucks versus Bills. <laughs> What's up, D? Long time no see. How about that KJ Britt? I know, right, Kate? It's, it's, it's nice seeing an inside linebacker out there trying to do, do stuff. He blitzed a couple times, man. He was blowing up running backs. We'll look at that tomorrow because we're gonna do, we're gonna do the offense today, right? Everybody wants to do offense today in all twenty two. We got ten likes yet? Oh yeah, we got twelve likes. Woohoo! We big time, man. Uh, Buccaneers have signed – we've signed a linebacker. This guy's been bounced back and forth on our practice squad. Uh, Jones, Vi Jones, V-I Jones. We signed him to our practice squad. So I think that that's, a, that's kind of a sign that Devin White's not coming back. I mean, I think we all know that, right? But we got Rakeem Jarrett possibly coming back, if not this week, probably next week. That I did look up that uh, incident with the fan at Packer Stadium that Mike Evans gave the ball to. He did get the ball. That was a like, cool. Did y'all see? Oh man, you got to see this. His his mask he was wearing. That was so cool. Uh. But he he did get the ball and everything is cool. But yeah, he busted through the gate. And he did it by accident because I saw him coming down the steps and you see him like kind of lose balance and he hit that gate and it just flung open, I guess. But uh, let me see if I can pull this up. Yeah, I loved his mask. I might make one so I can wear wear on the live stream here. Look at that. How cool is that, man? Ah, I can't zoom in on it. Dang it. Let's see if we can zoom in. Yeah, here we go. Look at that. That's awesome, man. I don't know if it's painted. Yeah, it looks like it's painted. Not molded. Might be custom. Custom molded. But that's, that's cool, man. I want one of those. Molly, I want one. Christmas, right around the corner. So, yeah, it was uh, y'all told me J Buck 525. So I looked it up. And, yeah, he posted this picture. He was like, everything's cool. You can see the security guys. This was the, there's one here, but this was the security guy I saw right here. 
when they were doing the extra point. I was like, man, they're going to kick him out of the stadium. Can't count out the Eagles. It took to week 15 before he started to call plays to Godwin on deeper routes. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's get he's getting more comfortable, I think. Yeah, we missed chat with you too, D. Appreciate you checking in, though. Hitting that like button. Yeah, good point, Rashad. Yeah, yeah. Devin White not coming back. Going to give us much more money. To sign whoever we need. That's going to be contentious amongst the fan base. A lot of people don't want or think that we shouldn't bring Mike Evans back. Just too expensive. And Baker, a lot of people want to move on from Baker. Yeah, he fell. Yeah, he was running down and just got so excited. Yeah, when Mike gave him the ball, he was like on his knees <laughs> with his arms over the – what's up, Raw? With his arms over the gate, and then he stood up. That was funny. Tom's depressed. Oh, uh, why? Why, Tom? Yeah, I know, Wayne. That wasn't that wasn't guy, that guy's fault. It, that gate just flung right open. I think he hit it thinking that it was going to stay stay locked. But you can see him when Mike makes that touchdown, you can see him running down the steps to come get that ball. And then he hits that gate and just <laughs> falls forward. I don't know, Scott. I don't know if he lives up there or not. I would think he traveled. Oh, yeah, we got to pay day, uh, Winfield first. Man, we got we got a lot of people we got to pay <laughs> next year. A lot of people we don't want to get rid of. Levante, if he's going to play again. Mike Evans, Winfield, Wirfs, Baker. That's five big contracts right there. <sighs> Al eating too much, man. Yeah, I did too, Scott. I gave that security guy too much hate. He was just doing his job. No, we have not pre checked out Brit's play, Raw. Brit's play. We're gonna do defense tomorrow. Unless y'all want to do defense today. We could do we could do a vote. We're gonna do all twenty two. I put I put in the thumbnail we were doing offense, so I'm I'm leaning towards offense. Yes, heard Kate. Yes, Trevor Lawrence is in concussion protocol. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sad, Raul, about Devin White not not being with the team anymore. You just can't have guys doing that, you know. Oh, no Keyshawn Vaughn. That's why he's depressed. <laughs> Lack of depth. Yeah, we were talking about that. The uh, Trevor, his backup is Brether, CJ Brether, something else like that. So that'd be nice. Yeah, he'll probably play, though. Al. Yeah. But, the, you know, that concussion protocol, that's that's up to the doctors. All right, Dub says offense. Yeah, we're bad people, Scott. I ain't, I'm not trying to. I'm trying to win. <laughs> I ain't trying to win a a charity award, a good good person award.
You want to watch special teams? We could zip through that pretty quick because <laughs> there, there was only three punts. A lot of kickoffs, though. All right, we're going to do offense. Ba -ba -ba. Y'all ready? Man, I might have to. I might have to turn my fans on or up. All right. I'm just going to go with it right now. Keep an eye on my temperatures. Yeah, yeah. There you go, Kate. There's a, that's the way to look at it, man. See, y'all women are y'all women are like that. Us guys are like, no. Oh, we hope his head falls off. Kate's like, I hope I hope the doctors are very concerned and <laughs> have an abundance of caution. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah, no Devin White. I know we've won three games without him, and the team has looked a lot better. Yeah, I think it's attitude more than anything. You know, I, th I think it it infects teams. You know, when you get a guy out there that's not that's not playing to their full potential. Oh, they don't have a quarterback three. Who was their quarterback three? I'll. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there you go, Gulliver. We'll we'll send him uh get well cards. Yeah. That way we're not total jerks. He's got pretty hair, that's true. I saw a picture of him of uh of Trevor Lawrence standing there and the one of the statues from Easter Island. And it was like once you see it, you can't unsee it. <laughs> he looks just like one of those dudes. Nathan Rourke. What a loss. Yeah. Boom. Quick pass. Quick to 14 out there. Play action. You know, sometimes, sometimes I don't understand. Teams will do play actions at the weirdest time. Like, say here, you know, if we go back, okay, play action. Play action is, you know, mainly for these guys, right? So you're wanting to kind of freeze these two, blah, 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 all that good stuff. And you're going to throw it to this guy way out here. So freezing these guys doesn't really do a whole lot there, I guess, <laughs> sometimes. I mean, this isn't a – an extreme example, but sometimes I've seen it where you're like, doing play action there just doesn't make any sense. But I guess it could be priming for later in the game or whatever. Which I want to see. You know, I'm, I'm seeing Canal has put concepts together more. I want to pay attention, see if we can catch any in this game. He looks like Charmin on Shrek. Yes, Tom, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, Devin White's pick that snuffed out the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. That was, yeah, we'll always have that, man. The tackle. You know, one of my favorite plays by Devin White was when he clobbered uh, Josh McCown. It was in a preseason game. Just clobbered him. Josh McCown ran outside the pocket. He was standing over there. Devin White came out full speed, folded him like a lawn chair, man. All right. 
We I we've been pulling Cody quite a bit in our run game. They've got more confidence in him now, that's for sure. Canal has talked about that too. How his his run blocking has gotten so much better. That was bad coverage there. I don't know what Seven was doing. What are you doing, Seven? Yeah. He just, <laughs> he just lets White scoot right around him. That didn't make any sense. Oh, White, go. Good job. White's starting to show off his his speed and his juking, ain't he? Somebody ends up way back here. I want to see who that was. Cody? No. Gedeke had a tough day. Almost, man. Almost. It's doing good here, though. But we talked we talked about that after we watched the Green Bay Packers defense. We were like, eh, not really scared of their defense. Not a whole lot there. It was really their speed on offense that I was worried about. Their their quick quick plays. The tricky runs and stuff. Boom, boom. Who's that on the ground? Hainsey. Yep. Keep an eye on Hainsey. He gets whooped here. Oh, man. What in the world? He just buckles? Yeah, he just buckles. Look, he's not tripped up or nothing. Wow. That's not a good look, huh? And then 93's in the backfield. At the handoff. Cody blocking way out here. Palmer was wide open with that touchdown. We'll have to see that, huh? Okay, Tom, that's a good rule. Prince Charming, can we go with that? Yeah, you know, I was, yeah, yeah, we're all, I agree with you. I think he's going to be a force to be reckoned with. After hearing what Canal has said about him, you know, about his, his confidence and stuff, I was like, all right, okay. Oh, okay, so the, the tight end. I didn't even look at that, Tom. Oh, Dave watched the Super Bowl highlights. That's cool. I need to go back and watch that. Watching Super Bowl highlights on there, right? <laughs> Fan therapy. Plagues. <laughs> uh. All right, I'm going to have to look at that Palmer being open. That Mike Evans touchdown. Who we got here? All right, that's Coquift and Otten. And we run to the weak side. Why not? Being tricky. Yeah. That's a good idea because you got the numbers over here now. That was dumb, 59. What? That's some Devin White stuff there. It's like, yeah, I'm going to give up my block, my my responsibility, and I'm going to go this way. <laughs> what? Uh, that's the guy that said he was not going to play through injuries anymore. Because he always gets blamed when the defense does bad. 
When did the league become such a bunch of babies, man? Oh, nice. Oh, man, what did they? What are they doing here? Oh, my gosh, Mike's going to be open here in a second, too. And he's got everybody to throw to. This is third down. Okay. Third and third and four. And they're playing way behind the sticks, man. What are they doing? Look at this. They're giving everything up, man. Who's that on the ground? Otten? Okay. The, oh, I'm glad he didn't throw it to... Okay, here's Otten. Okay, that must be Cody Mock then. Yeah, I'm glad he didn't throw it to Otten because, look, as soon as he lets go of the ball, Otten falls down. <laughs> yeah. Man, what? Green Bay, what are you doing? That doesn't make any sense. This defense does not make any sense. Huh. They just gave that one. Gave that first down away. They cover three on third and four. Oh, Mock. He slips. Look at his foot right here. Woo! Big boys on ice. You think about changing his cleats, huh? But this is our kind of field right here. In theory. Ah, here we go. Nice. I like this. We've done this a few times this year. We bring Otten into motion, and then he turns as the runner comes back. Maybe he becomes the lead blocker going this way. Boom. Didn't get nothing out of them. I like stuff like that, though. You know, throw it in every now and then, keep the defense on their toes. The Stinny, Stinny comes, gets the backside. Good job. What is it? What is sixty? What is fifty-two doing? Fifty-two's cut blocking. Oh, he thought that the uh, he was going to get the ball. So he's trying to fill up that gap with his body. Well, we didn't fool. We fooled half of them. Didn't fool the other half. Good block in here. 19, David Moore. Good block. It's on a big boy, too. On 91. Boom. Good job. <laughs> that's that's that ground, the magnetic attrash, attraction between mock and the ground. Yeah, that's hilarious. Though we have to admit, past few weeks he has not been on the ground as much. It's interesting, you know. We got we got the screen set up out here, a little bubble, and. Uh, he doesn't know. 83 does not know if he's going to get the ball or not. You can see he's looking, and he sees a handoff right there, so then he turns and goes to block. So that's that's some form of option. Let me look. What's it, what's, he, what's he key in here? I don't know. He's definitely not keying this dude because uh, – Huh. I don't know. Interesting. Could have get stood up with one hand there. Good recovery.
Yeah, it was a good show. Oh, uh, Gedeke gets beat here. All right, what do we got? 88, 88, 88. Oh, too late. Yep, Gedeke got beat on that one. I remember this on the broadcast. It's a uh, 52 B2. Ah. A judo. Push and pull. He's pushing him here and then he pulls him. Yank. Classic. I'm going to let that play for a little bit. Catch up on chat. Yeah, it'd be a good idea. Watch some Super Bowl highlights. Hopefully won't get a copyright strike, but... Yeah, yeah, that's probably it, Cape. Because Baker would have had to spin all the way around to hit him. Yeah, we we our offensive line is more athletic than they are maulers. The big boys. We want that speed. Oh gosh, here we go. We gotta watch this. This is a real quick two play two play series. <laughs> he counts the defenders in the box. That makes sense. Yeah, Scott, what let me know if you see any penalties. I really haven't been paying attention to the refs this year. If I see something, I'll point it out, but I'm not looking for it, you know. So if you see anything, shout it out. Boom, who's that blocking? Is that Odden? Most likely. Good job. Boom. Yeah, yeah. Why did he hold the ball for four seconds, Raw? That's what I want to know. Way too long to be standing in your own end zone. Or close to it. That was a good block. That was Otten, yep. Yeah. Right? God, he's gotten so much better this year. It's like that's I think that's what he did all off season. It's practice blocking. Okay, here we go. Four seconds. He stands here. What do we got downfield? Oh, we got some long developing routes. Oh my gosh. What down was this? It was only second down. This is second and five. Oh. Okay, we got we got one underneath. We got two underneath technically, but that's a tough throw. Is that a linebacker on him now? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, these are these routes down here. He's looking. He's looking at Mike. He's definitely looking down here. But this guy leaps. I mean, he jumps from about where he's at right there. Watch him. Look, look at that. Look at him leaping. He leaves the air. That was a good play on his part. Who was he? Who was he going to hit down here? I don't see anybody open, man. Baker's Baker's winding up to throw it. Uh, who was he going to throw it to? I don't see anybody he could have thrown it to. Mike would be the only one that I would feel comfortable with him throwing to there. 
But in all reality, he should have thrown it to White about right here. That's some armchair quarterbacking. Yes, sir. I get the MVP for armchair quarterbacking. He didn't have anything downfield. I don't know what he was holding the ball so long for. Yeah, Gedeke just gets whooped. He got whooped by 52 last time, 55 this time. Ah. Shame. But this 55 does a great play here, man. He, he just supermans it. What? Bam. And everybody else blocked great. But what I, I do like about Baker is he didn't panic here. He didn't get the happy feet. Okay, he, It probably would have been a good idea if he would have. <laughs> but he saw something downfield he wanted. You think he was going to Otten? Yeah. Scott. Scott's got a two-year-old in his lap. He might type random stuff. Don't lie. You're drunk. That's what it is, right? <laughs> we'll start using that excuse, too. All right, guys. If I, if I type funny stuff, it's because I got a baby on my lap. I'm just kidding. I know. I baby gets on the on my lap at my desk. First thing she does is just hit everything at the same time. Wham, wham, wham. Mouse goes flying, keys get pressed. I'm trying to catch up with you. No, he's not tap dancing as much. <laughs> Scott, I see. Yeah, go ahead and blame that one on your baby there. I see it. Oh, this was so, you know, the defense was so discouraged. Like, man, we stopped him on a fourth and two. Although it, it had nothing to do with the defense. It was uh, love through a bad pass. Yeah, he's definitely and, – and D, he also – I don't like the way he runs. You know, I mean, he runs. He doesn't protect himself when he runs. He's going to get hurt doing that. I'm going to get upset. But he's definitely one of those players. He, he probably plays better when he's hurt. A lot of guys are like that. Boom. Who's that? Yep. Brick, close that hole up quick. Boom. Is it Vita or Logan? That's Logan Hall right there. Good job. Good job, fellas. And of course, Levante. 71 thinks he's got Levante blocked up right here. And he just gets a <laughs> that hand work. That was nice. Right here. He just smacks the guy's hands right off of him. Right there. And then comes around. Gets in on the tackle. Yaya yeah, and this guy were going at it. Good job. So they lost yardage there. Then they get a touchdown here. Let me see. What was this touchdown? I can't remember. Oh, yeah. He dives over. Oh, Levante. He gets shoved in the back there. Can't get that block or that tackle. And you got Winfield coming up. Uh, All 
There's a hole. Good grief. Holy smoly. How in the world do they not see this? He holds him starting right here. Look, he's hold he's got him held right there. Yeah. He's holding him. He's still holding him. He's still holding him. He's still now he spun him around. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Who was it that was talking about wanting to see the penalties? That was that was definitely one. Uncalled. Right here. Man, he would have made that tackle too. Who was that? Delaney? Delaney being held? Can't see the number. It's this guy right here. Yeah, it's Delaney. We'll be able to see it better here. Maybe not the full thing, but right here. You can see it. Look at that. And then he spins him around. <laughs> uh. My goodness, and he's got him he's got him on the shoulder pad too. Wow. Cheating. Look at that. Oh, David turned to the refs and he was like, What? You're not gonna call holding on that? Man. Yeah. Ref was staring right at that hole. They wanted the Packers to win. Now, block, block in the back, Scott. You can block in the bag. It's called close line of play. Like within five yards. It's one of those subjective things that the refs have way too much leeway with. But like right around the line of scrimmage, you can block people in the back. So sometimes they call it, sometimes they don't. I don't. I don't know if David's going to play next year, D. You know, it's, I think it's up to him. If he wants to play, we'll we'll sign him. Oh, that was we just watched the, a, a defensive series. Oops. Yeah, that's what I think. Al. I think. I think he, Devontae's going to want to retire. You know, he he probably. Signed this year to kind of help the team out, developing the guys, but. I know. I'd, I'd, I'm interested to find out how long Levante David could play. The refs love Green Bay. Tom Grossi. Has he got a YouTube? All right. Boom. Oh, man, that was a nice haul. Gedeke lost his guy, but right before that, it was a nice haul. Is that Otten made that haul? It's right here. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Yeah, see, Gedeke lost his guy right here. He never could step. I don't know what he. I don't know what he was doing there. He's trying. He's trying to pull him to the left there, and he loses his hand. Slips off. Then he comes back. He he, he should have stepped. Work on that footwork there, buddy. Nice, nice run though. Kate Otten, best blocker on our team. <laughs> Never, I don't think I would have said that. Uh, definitely after last year, I'm telling you guys, he was so bad blocking last year. He was a huge reason why our running game was so bad because we had him blocking a lot, and he just he was not good. He was getting tossed around consistently. 
And I think he he probably took hired somebody to help train with him during the off season or something. Gave up a block there though. Do we just flip fields? So this is this is the start of the second quarter. Man, we only had one. Man, we only had one real possession in that first first quarter. The second one was when we fumbled it. That strip sack. Dang. Well, oh, that was a crazy throw. I guess he figures 91 can't jump because he's a defensive lineman or outside linebacker or something. I don't know, but that's, that was risky. But I like, I like how Baker was spreading around more in this game. That might be Canales designing the the plays, spreading the number one slot around. Gosh, that was a crazy throw, man. Good blocking up front, though. What's up, Gage? We're coming for it all. Oh, look at that. Got one wide open. Let me go back and see that. This. Wow. I'm going with the play action totally. This is exactly why you do play action. This is beautiful. Gets all three of these guys to come forward. 14 squeezes in right behind them. Boop. That was pretty. Just how you draw it up. And then here, he's uh, he's covering grass. 34 is doing the right thing. You know, you got Mike want to go, it looks like. Yeah. It looked like a go at first. But, yeah. So, anyhow, those linebackers got fooled by that play action for sure. For sure. All right, Canales. Let's see this play action and how good the technique is. I tell you what, we're showing run all dang day, aren't we? We got Kokiev, we got Otten, we got guys pulling, going this way. Yeah, they all got fooled. Every single one of them. Look at this guy. He's 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 looking way over here. Yeah, good good job. Now see, this is this is what we expected to see at the beginning of the year. You know, we got we got Hainsy out here blocking for the boot. Boop. You got. Although I expect this to be more of a tight end, but, you know, I'll take what I can get. Bam! Love it. And then Mike with a nice block downfield. I like it. With not dink and dunk plays, yeah. Yeah, we were uh, designing him some nice stuff downfield. Hey, happy birthday, Gage. You going to the game this weekend? Nice, man. That's going to be fun. Tom Grassi does a YouTube podcast show like you, but each of his podcast shows have like 30, 70,000 views. What the... You just had to throw that in there, didn't you? Just rub it in. Ugh. 
I'm going to have to check him out. Let me write that down. Tom Grassi, YouTube. Does he do Does he do Buccaneers or is he just general football? Is Levante a top five buck of all time in everyone's eyes? Who? Man, that's tough because there's a lot of guys up there. He he's tied up there. He's tied. There's a bunch. There's about twenty guys I would put in the top five, <laughs> the Buccaneers. No, I've never seen Tom Grassi. I don't think I might have. Okay. I'm just gonna scroll down. If I didn't, if I didn't see your chat, just repeat it. I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna look him up real quick. He's a Packers fan. Is he the what, the comedian guy, the funny guy? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah, he's funny. He's a funny guy. Yeah, he does skits for all 30. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think our defense is going to start gelling. Uh, I think that, you know, the whole... Devin White thing is going to help our defense. I think the guys needed that. You, know, you can't have the captain of your defense sloughing off. You just can't do it. And Oh, Cody, look, the magnetic ground got him again. <laughs> what is what? Oh, that's a bad technique there. He gets his foot stepped on, too. He trips up. Man. Boom. Yeah, he should have he should have cut in a lot faster than he did. But yeah, I think the defense is going to start getting uh, getting good again. Nice block, Auden again. Good job. Let's go back and look at this. Auden comes out. Comes out, gets a block on this guy. Bam! Good job. Who are you? Lawrence, what's up, man? All right, you've got... He's wide open underneath. What down is this? It's third down? Yeah, third and six. So they're going to give him nap. I'd take it, though. Who's he throw it to? Oh, Mike. Oh, you were right. Holy kashmoly. Green Bay's defense stinks. Either that or we really schemed well. Let's look at this. All right, what are they playing? Bam. I would say cover three with four underneath. And we draw the outside guy with 14. He's right on that seam. Now, 
right here is when Baker lines up. This guy is turned this away. He's looking at 10. But as soon as Baker winds up and he's looking at Mike, that's when this guy flips. So I can't really say he would have been wide open. You know, it's usually about right here is when I'll stop and look at uh look at what everybody's doing. Because everything after this is completely dependent on the ball leaving his hand. Everybody's going to adjust and shit. So, you know, it's possible he would have he would have come down on ten or come across with him. But yeah, he's definitely wide open here. <laughs> yeah. That was a good pass by Baker, man. And again, yep. So, scheme-wise, that safety, he gets caught. You know, he's got this guy going this way. He's got this guy coming across this way. Boom. And then he's got Mike going that way for the post. Uh, so, he, you know, he has to make up his mind. You know, do you take 10 going across? Do you come over? You figure 21 is supposed to have 13. It's really his fault. I'd, I'd say I was, this was more of a cover two beater, but. I don't, I don't know if that was scheme so much as it was just bad play by the Packers. Good decision by Baker. Nice pass. Blah, blah, blah. Could be an argument made either way. It was not a bad play. Mike Evans is just simply better. That's all there is to it. You can say that in any conversation about anything. Mike Evans is simply just better. Like, what do you think about nuclear proliferation? Now, here's what I think. Mike Evans is just simply better. I've been trying to get Molly back on the podcast. She won't do it. Yeah, Baker needs to pump fake more and not to the guy he's throwing to. He does that too much. <laughs> when he does pump fake, a lot of times he'll pump fake to the guy he's throwing to. Who was it that used to do that driving me crazy? Was it Winston? I think it was. Uh, look at whose reaction after the catch. Let's go back. Big bake. Big bake. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, here here comes that guy. There he is. He comes down. You see him. He's almost right here. Hopefully we can catch it. Uh, we can't see it. Yeah, he just, he kind of falls down here. Dang it. Maybe we can see it this way. <laughs> Simps are still likes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Ah, uh, we're not gonna be able to see it. But they focused in on this dude though, didn't they? Just like here, we're we're gonna stay a still shot on this guy who totally blew that coverage. All right, here we go. This is second quarter seven oh nine. The second quarter score is, at this point, the score is 10-10. to 10. Yeah, that was nice. Perfect timing, beautiful pass, everything. Uh, it, because of the baby, D, 
The baby just does not coordinate with us as far as the schedule is concerned. We tried for quite a while to do a podcast when the baby was asleep. Just never did work out. She'd wake up right in the middle of the podcast. Who false starts here? Uh, Cody. Right? That was Cody, it looked like. Now you can say everybody. He starts, he goes, he goes. Yeah, Cody. <laughs> Mike has so many records, especially Buccaneers records, franchise records. He has the top five in like every category. He's number one, number two, number three, number four. He's got the most touchdowns in the season. He's got the top five in franchise history. <laughs> Whenever that yesterday, I think it was, it was just cracking me up. I was like, number one was Mike Evans, 2014, 13 touchdowns. Number two, Mike Evans, 2020, 12 touchdowns. We go back, look at this blocking. Now, see, that's good block, Cody. That's how you do it. Great leverage. Why do they have him way out here blocking? Oh, he just he just pushed him way out there. Interesting. That would make sense. About the passing lanes. But sometimes I get the impression he doesn't even really... I don't know. There's a lot that Baker could work on to make his game better. And they just... Shut that down there, didn't they? There's a there's a lot he could do to improve. Now look, he he went through some progressions there. Oh, well, did he get hit when he threw that? We're going to say yes. Big Cody with the trench warfare. Yeah. Remember, remember at the beginning of this, the year, these two were working so good together. This is a this is a mess here. Go to, they're off level. Oh yeah, so he gets hit. His arm gets hit right there. Worse is slipping. Yeah. <laughs> He still kept it. He's like a doorstop. What's up, Craig? A winner. A winner has entered the house, guys and gals. The champion. I need some champion music. We are the champions, my friend. Do, do, do. Big Hainsy. <laughs> uh, plagues. 
Yeah, yeah. Just send me uh send me your address. I'll get that trophy right out to you, buddy. Robert Haynes is your favorite lineman gauge. That's a bold statement. I like it though. We can we that's why that's why they make Fords and Cadillacs. Worse than Hainsey both gave up blocks on that one. Coquif getting thrown to the ground five yards away from the play. All right. Odds going in motion. He's going to block. I knew it. Evans was the only one that went out on a route there. Nobody had to do anything on that play. <laughs> Boom. Man, we What is their defense doing? It's a third down, guys. Here's <laughs> They're playing. They're playing Todd Bowles defense. That's their line of scrimmage. Look how many defenders they got. Pat, they got one, two, three, four, five, six guys past the sticks. They're just giving up first downs, man. That's three times we've seen them do that now. Good blocking. Oof. I know this guy. Don't know who that is. Don't know who that is. Arnie Herber? Willie Davis? Man. That is old school scoreboard there. That's straight out of a high school. That was probably top of the line when it was put in at Lambeau Field 50 years ago. So far, the game film has shown... Yeah, I would say I would say he's dancing a little bit more. Uh, there's definitely that one that where I, I thought he should have hit the hole way before he did. So we'll, we'll keep an eye on that, Craig. How many times have they blitzed so far? Not a lot. <laughs> Correct. Craig's like, all right, you can, Al, you can start being serious with your predictions now because he won a week. <laughs> uh, what's up, Dwayne? Willie was a defensive back. Mr. Davis, back in the 60s. You know Willie Davis, Tom? Good friend of yours? Man, their defense looks lost. He could have hit hit him on an out. What's he going to do? Boom. Okay, that's David Moore. Kind of a bad pass. He slipped. Still caught it, though. Pass was a little short. Packers are not playing good defense here. Cody. Covered somewhat, but big head to get the ball out. I 
Oh, he didn't slip. I thought he slipped. Pass was a little short. Baker was a – I don't think he got hit. This is that same play. I don't think he got hit, but he was definitely under pressure. He should have got hit. That guy didn't reach out hard enough. I mean, look, he's he's right here. Oh, he got like, like a finger on his back. But he did not get hit. I want to see more of more. Man, look at we got. And they just giving this up all day. All game they have. This is first down. Is he going to hit? He's, he's trying to hit 14. My goodness, what a throw. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it's the smartest throw. Yeah, look, it goes over this guy. It goes over this guy. Zips right past this guy's head. Whoop. Man, that's crazy. That's craziness. That was back when you started watching football, Dwayne. Is it Dwayne? Dane? Dane? Back when, uh, that was back when they had dinosaurs instead of school buses, right? Read your, read your newspaper on a stone tablet? <laughs> That's interesting, Craig. If we took out the big runs, but you can't really do that. I mean, the big runs are kind of a big thing, but uh, the those runs at the end of the game, both of them have iced the games. So, yeah, if you took them out, I wonder what his yards per carry would be. Al, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they haven't blitzed much at all. Al, you were just talking about how much you ate. You ate too much yesterday. Okay, so it is, Dwayne. All right. Al's got the Dorito fingers. <laughs> yeah. Good blocking, man. Can't believe Baker Mayfield had a perfect game. Oh, they got through that time. Mm, come on. Come on, receivers. Help him out. Nope. He's done. He's done on that one. Is that Worfs that gave up a block? Oh, he got bumped off. Yeah. Again, these two aren't working good together. He tries to pass him off. Worfs ain't ready for it. Boop. Yep, putting that one on worse. He's played better past three weeks. Maybe he's he's his injury isn't God. He White has been open underneath this whole game. It's like they're not even trying to stop that mess. This is second now. Second and 19, yeah. What's up, Rampage? 
Yeah, how about the Titans, man? Titans are not. They just, uh, it's kind of like the Rams. What, what happened to the Rams? Remember when they were good? <laughs> just like they just, they win the Super Bowl and the next year they're like, man, we're not going to try anymore. It's been like two years of them just not even being a factor in anything. I know they had injuries and stuff last year, but. What what is this? I, I don't think that's how it's supposed to be. There's a mix up. Oh, and then they still what? Oh my gosh! Oh. <laughs> how do you mess up that bad? Oh, see Baker, Baker pumps, brings it down. Man, he had Goblin wide open. These two boneheads, knuckleheads, how do you mess up this bad? One, you can tell is a coverage breakdown, right? And then they both just cut. I guess he's covering him is what they're doing here. <laughs> Man. Woof. Packers. Boom, nice handoff between Cody and Hainsey. That was pretty. Right here. Boop, boop. That's how you do it. That's perfect. This is Holden for sure. He's got him in a headlock. <laughs> and then just, <laughs> this is to make it better. He grabs him on the back. Oh, my gosh. How was that not a penalty? So, yeah, so he he pumps. Pumps right here. And he brings it down, scans the field, and then throws it in the dirt. Had had Godwin wide open downfield. That was going to hurt in the film room. Can't hurt too bad, though, when you got a, a perfect QBR and you won the game. Their defense is just ugly. He's going to get this, isn't he? Is he throwing a 14? Sure is. Look at that. Boom. Perfect. My goodness. Good, good blocking, too. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. Look at that. Wow. That was a good play. They but they played like zone this whole game. So we just we're just eating them up. You gotta switch it up every now and then. Oh, I was like, why did he jump up? White jumps up, but he jumps up to avoid this guy's foot. Good blocking, man. Huh. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. What's up, Truth Freed? All right, I'm catching up with people. I'm going to... Uh... Here, we'll run some defense while while I read the chat so y'all have something to, something to look at. Man. Yeah. Is it possible to eat just two or three Doritos? No. It's just like Pringles. I can't. I can't. You have to like take, you have to like physically take it out of my hands. Uh, Doritos, Fritos, and Pringles. Oh, look at Kenzie there. That was nice. Okay, I'm not looking at it. Imperial, what's going on, bro? (laughs) 
<laughs> it's just so weird, Kate, how they, you know, well, once dominant force and now they're just, it was kind of, that's how I feel about Tennessee, you know, it was like, hey, remember when they were like beating everybody up? Now everybody wants to play them? Yeah, when you put it that way, Alex, it is a good accomplishment. Sea salt, yes. D, good job. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the Packers' defense, their secondary is they're having a tough time out here. Truth. Yeah, that's a good point, Craig. So he he deserves that that passer rating for just for not taking the, the easy checkdowns. Spicy arg. Yes. Yeah. G G Gedeke's had trouble so far. Orange zest. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's right. 95. Yeah, we, we're supposed to be keeping an eye on him, too. Oh, Scott. Tampa's chips are baked, not fried. <laughs> Great. Wait, Kate's a woman? It, any way you could change that, Scott? What does she like? Oh, didn't you say um, Downtown Abbey? She likes Downtown Abbey. Hainsey just gets beat. Oh, 14. So close. Looks like he might have got a paw on it. With the real housewives of Tampa Bay Bucks. Yeah, why not? Hey, whatever it takes. You got you to get the, the women's involved. Yeah, Molly was into Downtown Abbey too. She saw, she watched all that, but uh, she never watched the movie. Molly has this weird thing. It's the strangest thing. She does not like, she doesn't like watching the end of anything, like the last of anything. It's like she's never, she's, she watched Sopranos from day one and has never watched the final episode. Boom. Yeah, good job. Man. Baker did a good job in this game. 
I mean, he was definitely helped by good pass protection, a lack of blitzing on the Green Bay's part, and a befuddled secondary back there. But he's he's making right decisions, man. They're good decisions. I think Gedeke, did he miss his second level? The guy, it looks like Gedeke's going to try to get here. But I think this guy runs way over here. Gedeke gets a piece of him, though. Yeah, yeah, he does. Look, he comes and gets him, though. Can't blame that one on, Get on um, what did I say, Gedeke, Mock. Who, who, who gives up here? Hainsey? Yeah, that's Hainsey. I mean, Mock does a great job here, I think, of uh, improvising. You know, he's not he's not expecting this guy to go that way. Hainsey gets beat by 93. So, yeah, blame that one on Hainsey. Sorry, Gage. That other football kickball. <laughs> yeah, we've definitely doing started implementing a lot more RPOs. Yeah, not only did they stretch the field, but they, they were very all over the place, you know. Uh, we, we tested the boundaries, the flats, the middle. We were not one-dimensional at all. Oh, you didn't watch the last season? I didn't know that. Yeah, Sopranos, though, was uh, very trend-setting at the time. There was nothing else like it on TV. Right before that, though, Oz, it was an HBO show, too. I think Oz was the first made-for-HBO show. And that kind of set the standard for all of them. But Sopranos was just so popular. Just the way they created the narratives and they stretched from episode to episode and season to season. So different than TV shows of the past where everything was wrapped up in one episode. You know, like Friends or Cheers or Seinfeld or ER or whatever. Self-contained Look at this. Look at this. We got some blocking out here. Sweet. Come on, come on, come on. Bam. Good job. Good job. Hit that outside. Yes. Very good. I like this football team. This football team do good. Yeah, yeah, Craig. Well, you know, yeah, it's just now starting to get a little bit of flavor of what I thought it would be to start the season, you know? Uh, that might should have been a penalty here. 19. He didn't set all the way. He, like, goes to set and then, like, stumbles. Almost falls right there, see? He's moving when the ball snapped. 
Technically, that should have been a penalty. Don't like that play. You only got one blocker out there for two guys. Oh man. He's got he's got so much to choose from here. Is this the Oh that was a beautiful play. Look at this. Okay. He goes in the motion right here and then comes back this way and acts like he's going to get the pass back here. And it draws so many guys over in this direction that we've got three guys, two for a touchdown for sure. Uh, they're all going. He's going. He was on the way. Ends up getting caught up in this guy. He's going. And look at this. We got Otten. You got 19, and he gets the ball for a touchdown. So we had three guys. That was a nice play. I like that. Look at these routes. Otten would have done better if he wouldn't have ran into this linebacker. <laughs> He runs in the linebacker and still gets wide open. Yeah, he had he had three three options for touchdowns there. What's nineteen doing? I really like nineteen, man. I think there's something something special about this guy. Good job. That was a nice play. We suckered them all in. Hainsy. <laughs> he just slips. Just flat out slips. Non-contact. Whoop. 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 Doop, 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 doop. Uh, hilarious. Man. Man, we did just chew these guys up. Oof. What what is Packers fandom saying, man? Are they are they wanting to get rid of their defensive coordinator? Cause they have done nothing in this game. No blitzing. They have run. I don't think they've run man once. They might have, but they ain't been a lot. And they're getting chewed up in this zone coverage. I mean, they're lost a lot. Okay. I'm going to let this play while I catch up to chat. This is defense. Yeah, this 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 week coming up is really like our last hard game, hard game. I don't know. The Saints game might be hard. Yeah, we'll see. Week one, Tampa Bay versus Kansas City, Taylor Swift versus Miss God. <laughs> I Al, I didn't know uh he had a uh, nose candy addiction. Huh. Is that why he had a heart attack? Die? He's dating Margot Robbie? Wow. No way. Yeah, they yeah, Sopranos definitely blurred the lines between good guys, bad guys, and all that good stuff. I 
All right, Scott, you're probably gone, but. The we we want those long balls. They're hitting us on. Uh, uh, gosh, I want to say it's cover three. It might be cover two. I can't remember. But we we're getting hit on it right in the seam, and it's happened like three weeks in a row. And I think it happens in this game too. We're going to look at it tomorrow. But we definitely got, got an issue there the team seemed to be focusing on. Because I saw it in this game, and last week when we saw it, I was like, this might be an issue, but I don't know. This might have been – that wasn't it. But, uh, yeah, we've got we've got some holes we got to fix up. Which you would think after our defense being together for so long, running the same system, dang, Campsy's a beast, man. That we would have all those holes pot patched up. Target number two is Hainsey, <laughs> the ground magnet. <laughs> Joe Barry used to be our linebackers coach. Huh. That's funny. There you go, Kate. That's the way to be positive about it, man. We're just going to destroy the Saints. I'm going to have to go check out that Grossy video. I didn't even think to check out his stuff. I think I watched him do a live stream once during a game. He does live streams during the games, right? But uh, I've always seen him as a kind of a lighthearted comedy guy. So he didn't have drugs in his system? He probably did drugs in Yeah, we just hit <laughs> Gade straight up the same. Just boop. Man, what is going on? We are. This is a third quarter. Four eighteen in the third quarter. The score is twenty seventeen. Bucks. Oh, hey, look, they blitzed us on that linebacker blitz. Totally ineffective. Oh, that's that guy, right? That said he's not going to play through injuries anymore. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of over Tompkins and, and Palmer. I really expected more from Palmer. But, you know, give him a year. Let him sit. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Oh, Baker's too busy being sacked. Who gave up this one? I really thought Palmer was going to be a playmaker. I did not realize he couldn't catch the ball. That's kind of a qualification, right? Hainsey. Yeesh. Yeesh. 93 is pretty good for the Packers. He gets a lot of penetration. Yeah, I'm going to have to watch that reaction on the stream. This is that same play. Who is it that gets it? Is it Godwin again? Huh. He got it on that uh, 
linebacker that said he's not going to play hurt anymore. Because y'all just don't appreciate me. You don't understand my feelings, man. Man, they're, they're, they're not doing good with their front four on us. Yeah, give them both more time. Tompkins does. I want to... He does do a uh, little flip at the end of the game. That's the first thing I did when I when the All-22 came out is I went and I checked that. It's like a side front flip. So we'll have to check that out here in a minute. That should have been pass interference. Now that time they played man, right? This is that same play. Yeah, they play man here. Eh, I don't know. Palmer does kind of remind me a little bit of Scotty Miller, though. Now they're playing man again. After I made a big stink about it, and they shut us down twice with man coverage. Nope. Oh. <laughs> I remember this one. There was flags from all over the place. That's Mike, man. Man, Cody, good blocking. Come see what he does with 91 here. That was a great, great. Boom, good handoff. Come on, pick him up, pick him up. Nice. Cody. Man, we were blocking like crazy in this game. <laughs> oh, pass interference everywhere. Oh, give them let's 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 start uh pushing for that, Tom. Let's go undercover in Packers forums and start talking about how great Devin White is. We should we should get Devin White in the offseason. And this guy, 59. Boom. All pancake. Yes. How'd that happen? <laughs> he tripped. He tripped over Hainsey laying on the ground. <laughs> Hainsey's on the ground. Ew. Here you go, though. I'll take it, man. We get so few pancakes on this team. I'll take it any way we can get it. Oh. Stinny, but Stinny puts all of his weight on him, too, though. The one route wander, Scotty Miller, yeah. Which was such a shame. He had, he could, he had the speed. This is second down. Look at this. This is a first down right here. Possibly more. What are they doing? <laughs> what is this team doing? Let's see if they end up covering each other and leaving him wide open. All right. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Gosh, we have got guys open all over the field. Green Bay sucks. That was a lot of communication our offensive line did. Let's watch this again. Look at this. They're all talking to each other. Got all kinds of hand motions going on. All right, we're going this way, guys. We're going that way. Look at that. Baker does pretty good when they gave him good protection, huh? Yeah. Yes, Kate, one hundred percent. I'm I'm warming up to some Cody Mock, man. 
Oh, <laughs> and I was saying, well, that wasn't Cody. That was Gedeke. He just totally whiffs on his block. Right here. Weep. Oh, man. Bake had to just throw that one away. That's funny. It was just the other day I was saying that Gedeke was our best offensive lineman, which was totally shocking to me. And in this game, he's been our worst. Well, say uh, maybe a tie between him and Hainsey. Touchdown. Coquive. There's one catch of the season. He can retire happy now. Let me go back and watch this. Let me see the blocking up front. Quick pass. Uh, <laughs> Scotty Miller. He's probably telling his, you know, he'll be telling his grandkids that mess. <laughs> yeah, right, Greg. Yeah, they're probably doing the same thing. They're like, man, Tampa secondary sucks. Bucks 48-6 on Christmas Eve. MK ain't playing around. Okay. Let me get back to the offense. We've got we got two more series here. They're both pretty quick. So we're almost done. Dang. <laughs> it's a Twitter account. I didn't even know there was a Coquille fan club. That's funny. I'm going to join that. Oh. Oh, no. He's going to get wide open. That's at 59. That's at 59 covering. Is he going to? Oh, he didn't throw it. Uh, wide open. Oh. Ho. Oh. oh. Baker, what are you doing? <laughs> he should have thrown it. He, he had two receivers on that one open. Yeah, they're not getting any pressure hardly. That was nice. Let's go back and look at that. Stinny pulls, apparently. He's over here. He's blocking over here. What do we got? Uh, yeah, he comes across. Boom, boom. Good job. Yeah. Man, how does he not throw? Why does he not throw? Hmm. Oh, you don't have to work Monday. Oh, that's right. It's Christmas. Woohoo! <laughs> they brought in this this quarterback named Tom Brady and I led him to his Super Bowl. That's f hilarious. Oh, Kate's coming in with 28, 24 Jags. All right. You're the first one. Let's do this. Putting you on the big board. Week 16, man, it's so sad. It's almost over. Oops. And, you know, football season always goes by so quick. Too quick. Kate is saying 28, 24. Or we'll say 28, 24, 28 bucks. There we go. 
<laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. When you're not outraged, Craig, the <laughs> game field goes, goes by so much quicker. It's hilarious. Oh, I did not know Canales and his wife wrote about their marriage. I mean, I guess people are interested in that. Tony Dungy. Yeah, Tony Dungy, didn't he... He, like, approached the Buccaneers about Canales. Yeah, uh, Molly's Molly's first jersey was a Barrett Rudd jersey, pink Barrett Rudd jersey. He could have hit Mike here. That would have been tough though, because you know this guy's going to come over. Then you got more over here. Both of them basically the same. Oh, he already got rid of the ball. He just zings it straight up the middle, not caring about this linebacker who's playing through an injury, <laughs> right in his face too. They're both just like, you stink. Lawrence, 33 bucks, 30 jags. Got you. Going on the big board. So, 30, 33 bucks. All right. Gotcha. Did you do a score prediction, MK? Besides that crazy one? Al's still... Al's going to give everybody a chance. Or at least fake us out. He's going to wait till... Friday and then change his score. He, he carries it like a loaf of bread. Yeah. I don't like the way he runs at all. I don't like the way he carries the ball. I don't like the way he runs. I don't like the way he takes hits. Yep. Pink game worn Rudd jersey. It wasn't really game worn, but. Oh, MK says 48 6. Okay. Yeah, he's a totally different quarterback, Dwayne, when he's got he's got time back there. This is a reminder. This marriage. Did you read it, Rampage? Is it any good? I might have to check it out. Jim, thirty four twenty six bucks. Gedeke totally whiffs on his block there. But lucky for him, the guy does not make the tackle. He comes across whiffs. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, there's Cody on the ground again. <laughs> Molly and Barrett Rudd are the same size. That's hilarious. That, uh, That Barrett Rudd would be that small. Oh, he wrote it in April 2022. Do you think he took this job just so he could promote his book? 
Josh, what's up, Joshua? Twelve catches, one hundred ninety yards. <laughs> when he can see, yeah, you know, that's a good point, D. He has had a lot of open. It's been open in front of him during this game. I wonder if that's something they're trying to do. You know, offensive lineman push. To keep an eye out for that. Create open lanes for him so he can see down the field. Is it infidelity? Uh-oh. I don't know about that. So is it a struggle session book where his wife was like, all right, here's the deal. <laughs> you got to write a book and tell the whole world how awesome I am and how crappy you are. Is that worse on the ground? Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, my gosh. Hey, look, it's uh, the linebacker who's playing hurt. Does he get a finger on it? Boom. And he's off to the races. This is all more from here on out. Well, that and this guy just fell down for no reason. What was that? Is that number 20? He almost almost got that knocked out right before he crossed the goal line. Okay. They had some communication issues on defense. Let me go back. Watch 22. He's freaking out over here. Look. They don't know what's going on. Or 20. Oh, my gosh. Green Bay's a bad team. They got a long ways to go, don't they? Yeah, look at him. He is freaking out. Man. How close does he get to that ball? Oof. Yeesh. Here's the ball. Here's the tip of his fingers. I like that little movie put on 30, whoever this guy is. Looks like a 27, 37. He just zip. <laughs> uh, yeah, want to see more and more. I like him. All right, last series. Here we go. It is four, 18 in the fourth quarter. We're up by two touchdowns. And we just go ahead and close it out. Yeah, the, Dwayne, that would have been horrible if he would have fumbled that. <laughs> it would have gone down in history. Bucks history for sure. The the Leon Lett. He pulled a Leon Lett. Wow, I did not know that, Tom. They got some stuff going on there, Miami. That's insane. 
Who was that he beat? 93 he beats Cody. The 93 is pretty good. About the only one on the team, though. I don't know. This Sabin's showed up. He's done some stuff. He's trying, anyhow. So we're just running out the clock, trying to get first down so we can just go ahead and end the game. Cade comes over, doesn't get his block. So now this is fourth and two. That was a fourth and two. This is what sealed the game for the most part. Look at squeezing, man. That's some squeezing. <laughs> The era of the internet model. What? Boom. And and again, I it looks like we're blocking up good. But it could be this is the Packers just didn't play well. Boom. You know, their front had a bad day or whatever. But I've seen I've seen a incremental improvement over the past three weeks. Boom. He sees that hole right there. He just goes, man. Although this is a nice one over here. It works. Boom. And there it is. Yep. Then he sat down. And then he got up and ran. What was that all about at the end there? It was like he... I think it's a... He did that last week, too, where he, he slides instead of making a touchdown. But nobody touched him. Oh, but they got that new rule, or that rule, if you give yourself up. <laughs> I didn't notice this during the broadcast. He runs... Like he's going to run in. That's funny. Okay. It's not on this one. It's on the next the next kneel down. Let's just go to that. And he tells he's he's telling the refs something. I don't know what he's what he's telling the refs here. Tompkins says something to the refs. He's pointing to the line there. But then watch, he does this like side front flip. That was so cool. Boop. Man, he's a he's a little but somebody said he was in the parkour, right? Look at this mess. Rashad's going, oh, check this dude out. Boink. I mean, he's like, it's like a video game, man. That's so cool. All right, guys. Well, there we go. Tell you what. Here's what I take away from this. Green Bay Packers stink. <laughs> uh, no, Baker did a great job, I thought. Uh, the line did a great job. Baker did a great job. Uh, perfect game. I wouldn't say perfect, but I'll give him the quarterback rating. He had a couple times where decisions weren't the best, but it's probably as I mean, you can look at the, the stats and say it's definitely his best game, but I think just watching this, you could say it was probably one of his best games. And that's saying something because he's had two really bad games in a row. 
the Panthers game and then the uh, Falcons game was pretty. That was rough, man. The Panthers game was really ugly. So I'm encouraged to see this team playing the way they're playing this time of the year. That's good stuff, man. That was good stuff, man. We sliced them up. That was that was hard to watch. I've got some Packers fans. I'm, I'm going to cut this tape up and just send those to stuff, man. Woo! That's what he was telling the ref. He was like, "Yo, check this out." Dolphins wave JPP. Oh, man, I feel good. Okay, I wish that. Uh, I wish my baby girl wasn't sick. That Desmond Ritter punch out fumble. That was great. I love that. It was like classic Winfield. Well, I guess that might be it for JPP, huh? Into his career. Yep. Yep. I agree. Yeah. yeah, Rashad White did a great job. Yes, yes. 100%. 100%. I think everybody did a great job on offense. But uh, game ball on offense, got to give it to Baker. Got to do it. Yeah, if if we can keep this running game up, we'll be formidable, man. Because you saw a couple of those plays. That play action really drew those guys up. You can't sleep on our running game now. Yeah, beating the old division. I wish we would have beat the Lions. So we beat the Vikings. Bears. Got beat by the... Yeah, beat the Vikings. Got beat by the Lions and... We beat the the Packers. So yeah, I'll take it. All oh, right, did we play the Bears? We didn't play the Bears this year. Did we? Dang, Ralph. <laughs> I pulled Tom pulled a groin just watching Devin Tompkins do that. Attack the middle, quick slants, tempo, implement new things. You know, well, I, like D was saying, you know, he could see over the middle there. So maybe, maybe we got something where our offensive line is trying to part the seas so Baker could see over the middle. Yeah, that was that was a good game all the way around. I like the play calling. He definitely had a, a bunch of tricky stuff in there, or not tricky stuff, but uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, kept you on your toes. You know, didn't didn't do the same thing over and over and over. Variety. There you go. That's a good point, Craig. Yeah. Yeah, it did feel like everybody was in sync on this one. But how much of that was just Green Bay just wasn't playing good? I don't know. Because, <laughs> oof, oof. 30 minutes? No, I ain't got time for it. I will have to watch that later. Or maybe we can watch it tomorrow before we start watching all 22. If we played like this, we could beat the Lions. Super Bowl watch party, yes, yes. We're going to do it.
Tim Curry, Muppet Treasure. Yeah, you had said that before. I'd written it down somewhere and then couldn't. I got so many notes. I haven't been able to go through my notes. Tim Curry, Muppet Treasure. Yeah. Game ball goes to Canales. Yeah, I can deal with that. Spyglass idea. I probably wrote that down too. Oh, it's a minute 30 seconds. Okay, yeah, we'll watch that. I guess, you know, can I get in trouble for that? It's like a reaction video, right? I don't know. D, you out? A Buccaneers and Packers fan reaction in week 15. Okay, let's watch that. Wait, is it every NFL fan? A Buccaneers Packers fan reaction. Okay. Ah, here it is. Found it. This guy spends, he's probably got $2,000 in jerseys alone. All right. Yep. Team is going to show up. Oh. All right. Okay, which Packers team is going to show up? The one that beat the Lions and the Chiefs? Or the one that lost to the Giants? Well, we owned Green Bay with Brady, so let's see if we can do it with Baker. Okay, held him to a field goal. So I don't know what defense we're going to see yet. All right, three nothing, and at least Baker's moving the ball pretty well, so that's solid. Tucker Craft touchdown, Jordan Love! All right, well, the offense is the good offense this week, so that's a good start. <laughs> and there's our streaky defense allowing a touchdown. Okay, it's going to be one of those games. And Mike Evans with a touchdown. Okay, starting to get an idea of what defense is showing up. But there's Mike Evans! Seriously, if we don't give him a lifetime contract, 10-10, we're holding our own. I can't complain. And we got a field goal. At least it's a tie game. Now we just need the defense to allow another field goal. Okay, this isn't the worst yet. 13-10. And Baker is playing really damn well. And... <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, was, I was impressed with our defense. That was my thing. Uh, I don't know, Al. Yeah, he's got copyright. Uh, don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So this uh, this live stream might not make it up too long. Yeah, so I was thinking too, Al. He's got the vibe of the Bucks fans. <laughs> oh yeah, I was very nervous at this point in the game for sure. Especially after we got, uh, they went for it on fourth. Bad pass by Love. Our defense really didn't do anything about it. 
wasn't the reason why we got the turn over on downs. And then immediately Baker got strip sack fumble and they got the ball back and scored a touchdown. I was like, it's going to be one of those games. But then after that, man, it was kind of kind of turned out pretty good. It's definitely a good game. I definitely enjoyed it. And Rashad White just walks into the end zone. Okay. Yeah. Now, now it's bad. Now it's bad. Rashad White touchdown. Man, this is just looking easy now. Jaden Reed <laughs> touchdown. So, Jordan, this is not on you. This is all on Joe. Ah, oh, but there's Jaden Reed. See, we just can't have nice things. Our defense is not as bad as the Packers because that's another Buccaneers touchdown. Co- <laughs> Cat, keep, who is that? Well, I'm sure they caught their first catch ever because it's Joe Barry's defense. Help. Oh my gosh. Yeah, apparently they don't like Joe Barry, huh? That's a shame. Uh, man. He, uh, Co'Keefe. That's, that's true. I wonder how many Buccaneer fans said that too. They went, Co'Keefe, who's that? Not us diehards, of course. We know. How does he know how Buccaneer fans feel? Does he have, like, Buccaneer fans, like, write down their reactions and then send them to him? I like Kokeev, too. Held him to a field goal. We'll take that. David Moore with Code another one. End. Oh, yes. wow. When did Tom Brady come back? Oh, wait. That's still Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield? Is he the future? Have we seen enough from Joe Barry yet? Just asking on behalf of everyone. And <laughs> Jeez. Man, they hate Joe Barry. Woo. Woo. I had no idea. I had no idea. The Packers fans did not like their defensive coordinator like that. And I could kind of see why. And they score another touchdown. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I miss the old Baker Mayfield. No, not at all, Kate. I'd be furious. Well, I've been that way. You know, it's kind of <laughs> how, how I was with Todd Bowles there for a little bit. Kind of back on the Todd Bowles trade, though. And honestly, I'm starting to miss Dom Capers. Honestly, we could have scored another touchdown. And the Falcons lost to the Panthers? It was a great week. It, it was. I couldn't believe the Panthers beat the Falcons. I think we broke I think we broke the Falcons. I think they're in panic mode after we beat them. It just feels nice to win one. I hate everything. Why couldn't we play this Packers team on Thanksgiving? You know, yesterday I was feeling pretty bummed, but I feel better now. Remember when we thought we were going to the playoffs after we beat the Chiefs? I want to go back there. Oof. Oof. Man. Yeah, I... I've got a close relative who is a Packers fan. We used to watch the games together, and we've had a rivalry going back a couple decades. Uh, but I was texting with her during the game, and I think it was about midway through the third quarter, she just stopped responding back to me. I haven't heard from her since then either. Yeah, Falcons are benching Ritter again. Going back to Heineken. It's just, can't do that, man. Bryce Trash Guy. <laughs> Tesman Trash Guy. <laughs> ah, man. It's kind of like the, the way the, the Jets are doing over there, you know, bouncing back and forth between quarterbacks. It just shows indecisiveness as a leader.
Yeah. Pick a guy, stick with him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Craig. It would have been the same result. You know, and as you see, I mean, some guys have streaks where they play bad. They bounce back. It's just, you know, it's like, like Levante David has had bad games. Mike Evans has had bad games. They've had streaks of bad games. But well, you got to look at the overall package, you know. You get too, too many times these owners and coaches will just freak out and be like, oh, I got to. Because it's really like the only power they got. <laughs> the fire guy. Kate is on the bake train. I like it. It's going to be interesting, man. Yeah, I, it's it's really going to be interesting what happens at the end of the year with Baker. Oh, we got so many people, but uh, you know, are the are the Bucks going to want to stay with him? Are we going to try and lowball him on a contract? Are we going to? Is somebody going to swoop in and offer him a ton of money? You know, this could go all different kinds of ways. Yeah, yeah. Al, looks like we are we are out of the quarterback lottery. So we're gonna go with. Uh, Best available, or if there's an edge rusher there, try to get try to get somebody elite at whatever position. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. I appreciate everybody hanging out with me. That was a uh, interesting all twenty two. Definitely a few things I didn't expect to see there, but uh, it's very encouraging to see our offense playing as a unit and playing good for a whole game. That was good. A get key was a little, a little touch and go in that game, but uh, other than that, I think we played played really well. Yeah, if Baker play keeps playing like this, he's going to make a. He might he might price himself out of a contract with us. Ah, Kate's, Kate's vindicated this week. Baker is better than Hurts. That's awesome. Whoever had Baker in their fantasy football team, they're, they're some happy people. All right, guys, I got to get out of here. Tomorrow night we're going to look at the defense, see how K.J. Britt's done. Although, you know, he's done great the past couple weeks. No complaints with him at all. So we'll see. See if he's uh, stepping it up some. But uh, I got to go see how the, the sick – Children's are doing. Good night, guys and gals. Y'all have a blessed evening. Till next time, go Bucks.